and welcome back to another video. So last year, I'm gonna share with you some eBay sales I made from the 18th of April 2022 to the 21st, or the 19th of April 2022 so far. I'm gonna share with you what I made in two days of sales. I have a bunch of sales. That's why I want to share with you these sales. So here we go. And these are all different types of sales. So this is this item I've had for a long time on eBay. This was part of a local flea market. They have ones here at my local fair ones. Um it is in conjunction with a car show. A local car show. I found some stuff to flip on there. I found a whole tote of videos in the tote with the tote for twenty dollars. Like the storage unit fields and the flea markets and stuff. Or maybe it's does Facebook Marketplace or something like that. But that's if I'm, I'm, you know, I wasn't the guy selling eBay, but I don't know, because you can make a ton of money selling this stuff. You can make way more money than you could at, like, say, a Gleamer. You can, like, bought the stuff up, sell it as is, untested conditions on this stuff. You know, you could sell more money than, than you could, but whatever. I saw this PSP UMD video movie. I didn't know PSP made UMD movies. I thought they only made like U like game discs that are called UMDs, but I guess they made like DVD. They made like put DVD movies on these, and Flick is one of them. I mean, these are worth this. These are worth more than like the app than like um. Your typical DVD is. I mean, even for like the not so popular titles, because there's not many of them out there. So like then this, these probably people watch them in like car rides if they have like a DVD player in their car, or something like that. You know, they can pull down or don't have like a portable or DVD player that runs on like battery or something like that. You know, but um, yeah, this sold for six seventy four free shipping. I picked this up like. In like July, I want to say last year, like July August time last year, this has been listed I think for like like eight nine months, like nine months and you almost so a long time. But you know what? I'm glad to see it go, and happy to see it sell. So I was glad to see it sell for six seventy four free shipping on twenty five percent of sale. And I only made about three dollars profit, but I'm happy, you know. Get, I'd rather get three dollars and invest, be able to invest it towards better inventory on eBay. This is a 1955. Oh, sold yesterday, 19th. This is a 1955 first edition for Homes and Gardens Junior Cookbook Three and Better. This is in acceptable condition, as you can see the tape and all that stuff. And this was not a very high profit sale. This I picked up a long time ago in like September of like 2021 and I picked this up in a big bulk lab of books and like cookbooks like just generic random books but probably didn't pay much for a whole lot so that lots are, and I'm already in the profit on that lot as I am those lots I buy a pretty cheap not a ton of money but I bought this for but I made I sold this for five dollars plus shipping and and then I combine a whole another item with it, and I will share with you that um, this is the big black book for three dollars free shipping. Picked this up in a bulk book lot in like January, so probably had that for about three months. For took it off for three dollars free ship. This is someone in Canada bought five books in a CD from me. That's right, and I've had this. Stuff. These are inventory. These are not just books I've been having for like a few days. No, this is stuff that's been sin for a while. So, on eBay. Stuff that's been sin for a while. Well, but good about on eBay. I've been selling. It's just, it's really strange. And I haven't sold any of the new stuff I've been listing, but I've sold a lot of the old stale inventory. Which is, which is nice to see though. Which is strange how everything you sell is old stale inventory some days. This side for 330 in for shipping. This sold for, I took it off for 3 on this. That's, I just took the. You just round it down in your download, which is cool. I took it because I, you know, I had so many combined. I just want 
and you know it's free shipping stuff and like stuff I mean, and nice stuff I get the shipping on you know I can pay for most I got like two thirds of my shipping paid for with this money so that was awesome you have three dollars free shipping plus shipping excuse me um three dollars plus shipping and on that I've had that was a shop goodwill lot item shop goodwill lot and I've had that for like I want to say it was like five months. Yeah, five months. This I've had for about three months. This is how to hypnotize yourself and others by Rachel Copeland. Again, three dollars free shipping. Fifty ways to ban memory by Hermie, Hermione, or Hermie. Hermione Copeland or Hermie, Hermie, Hermione Copeland for three dollars free shipping. Again, I have for three fifty nine the books are ten percent on sale, and those are three ninety nine. The four nineteen one I had for um I had for three seventy seven. This one for three forty nine. I had for three dollars and fourteen cents. These were just books that were like, you know, those low um books, those booksellers that have a ton of stuff like that. They just get like, they don't do like best offer. They just do it. On price, you leave it there, and it sells itself there. And uh, you probably get orders like this all the time. Like, you know, they get not get a ton of value, but you know, if I can get two thirty, if you can get bundles of books, and and their shipping price was is cheaper. You know, for my shipping, you know, the rebate, the shipping's a lot cheaper, so. Per book, you know, and you make more profit. And I was happy, that's why I took these offers, because it's happy to see this one. This is Reader's Digest Extraordinary Uses for Ordinary Things. 2,317 ways to save money in time. So it's featuring vinegar, bing soda, salt, toothpaste, string, plastic cups, mayonnaise, tooth, or nail polish, tape, and more than 180. Other common household items. So that was three dollars for shipping. Had that for three fourteen on the sale, and that sale, I think, came out to like almost like thirty bucks of books with the shipping, and I made about like sixteen. No, I say about sixteen bucks because it did go international. I can so pay about one point six five percent fee on the sales, but I'm cool with that, paying like four or five cents per thing. You know, not much, and then some paying like ten cents, but it's not, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, some people are like, well, you have, well, I don't want to sell a national now because I gotta pay a 1.65% fee. No way. Uh-uh. Or I don't want to deal with them. Customs. If you, even if you don't want to deal with customs, you know what you do? Just ship your stuff to like eBay, um, Global Shipping Program. They take care of the customs for you. For you, you have to worry about like shipping it directly. Especially the countries that are like super, you know, the kind of sketchy countries to sell to. You know, there's some people that ship their stuff like directly international. And then there's some people that like certain countries and they'll use eBay Global Shipping for the sketchy countries. Because then if eBay, what they use, if it, has to go, it just has to go to eBay's facility. As long as it doesn't get destroyed before it goes to eBay's facility, you know it's on it's on eBay then. And eBay will refund the buyer in full. You keep your money. You keep the money, so it's on eBay and Pitney Bowes, and so that's awesome. You know that's what I like about it too. And you can do eBay Standard International as well. And I think it goes to like eBay facility as well, or maybe it just goes strictly straight there. I can't honestly. I don't. Remember. I'm not for sure. But. But yeah, and this is a Taylor Anderson of two paperback books, the Sherman series. These were not with super high value individually, and a lot of them up too. And I just seen a lot of two, and that's what these lot of two sold for. Paperback books sold for, so I was like, well, there isn't much so comes. So I'm like, well, I'll just, you know, combine the two, you know, take a little, tiny little hit, and instead of taking like a big hit, and I took only like a few cent hit on this. Probably only last like. Dime, maybe quarter if you can't do it. Um, shipping materials in. It's really not a ton. 
It's really not a lot, but, you know, but, not immediately, but it is what it is. If it was first class or something, maybe I'd make a buck, 50 cent buck. It is what it is. This is a rare. I, and I've had that for like about two months. And then, um, this is a rare vintage Missile Timbers. You know what? A hardware classic snapback hat. That's sold for twenty two forty eight. Free shipping. I had this is these listed for forty four ninety nine on twenty five percent sale. And I was getting like no interest in them. I was getting like a low interest here and there. I picked this up at a garage sale like in the summertime last year. A whole bunch of seal on or video games or some I saw. And some hats and a few sealed CDs. The sealed CDs have not been sold for my red sale, as well as like the hats. A few hats I sold pretty well, but and the the C the media and I have a media one media twenty four that's in one eh, was missing a disc, but all the rest have been selling pretty well. And that sold for twenty two forty nine, free shipping. Go buy it. Um, I sent a fifty percent offer just to blow it out, a blow up deal. And the buyer took it up me up on it. I've had this for eight months, so I'm just happy to see it go. It did price a little higher than like the other sold comps used because I didn't see a single one like this on eBay. And um it did price a little higher. And it does have a small amount of wear on that bill. On the bottom of the bill. And I'll show you it right here. If I can get to it. Um these hats are not in the best shape, but they're old vintage shirts. And I'll show you the small bit of wear in the bill. Here if I can get to it. Um, I guess I didn't show it, but it does have some small bits of defects on it. It does have some small little defects on it. Um, it's not as bad as some other hats I had. And you can see like the defect right there. You can see like the small little defects on it. You can, so. Um, that's not, they're not major, major though. But I couldn't find nothing like this and I priced it high. And that finally got a few watchers. And I finally ended up putting on, and I finally just got rid of it. Like, to, like around the average price of these hats, right? 30, 40 bucks used. These Timbro sets, size, or like newer, like hardwood closet sets, or something like that. So, you know what? I was happy, you know. We got rid of it for cheap. And this is a set of two. I don't think someone that's a Timbro Sanders spot. I uh, Maybe they are. But I don't think they're from Minnesota, right? Iowa. Nope, California. You know, maybe if they're from, say, Iowa, uh, like. Because they have the Iowa Wolves, maybe South Dakota, North Dakota. Maybe states don't have an NBA team. You know? But I think the reason why it's sold too is. Um. Um. Is that the Timberwolves are in the playoffs. So I think they sold. But same with my thing. I, I thought it was sold during the Minnesota playoffs last season, but it didn't. So this year. It sold in October when the season started. And this one, sold in the playoffs happened, so. You know, it's a perfect timing, you know. You won there in their, I believe their second game is tonight, so. And then this one, as I said, have to have on the modules, Sh Schleider, 90 Clover Leaf Luncheon plates, in one half inch. You sold for $15, plus the buyer paid shipping. And they it was going to California, so they paid about almost $30 total and I was had these for 21 $23.99 they went to 21 dollars they went $23.99 so. and the other ones I think sold for like on a did they sell on the offer I can't remember though honestly but or it's 21 maybe I think the other ones sold for $21.59 on full price it's I had a little ball of like 8 a while ago I counted at like 15 or something and then I finally took this offer because it's been sitting for about three and a half months I picked these up from my local auctions. Plate lot. Just a bunch of random plates. As is plates. Some are broken, trashed. But some, you know, the ones that were sellable, I sold. And, boom. 
fifteen dollars plus shipping. So I'm happy with that. And just put a little box, strap a little bubble wrap around it, and you call it good. So and then this is a lot of six dirt devil hand vac mounts, type G vacuum cleaner bags. These were from a vacuum cleaner that so my no one gives me stuff to sell. And they're like, here do you want this? Because they don't have the, this little old vacuum cleaner or old handheld vacuum cleaner they used to have. And it junked out. So they said, here are these bags. Two, three were dirt, brand new dirt double brand. OEM dirt double brand. Three were Arm and Hammer brand. And the six, I, cause I couldn't get as much as some two packs. So three, like a lot of six, like OEM dirt double brand bags. But, you know, I could get more than selling, say, like, two six-pack, two, two three-packs of off-brand bags, you know, so, I, you know, I, you know what I mean? So if the off-brand, the OEM bags were, say, selling for, let's say, $12, like, say, $10, say, $12, but the off, two off-brands, I think, were selling for, like, seven, for, like, selling for, like, seven, I think I price mine at, like, a little lower than halfway, which would have been, like, nine fifty. So I did mine at like, or nine forty nine would have been half. Well, so I did mine for eight ninety nine, and they sold so. So you know I was happy. So eight ninety nine free shipping. I make about you know I don't make a ton because I get even though I get these for free, I make about probably say four bucks, maybe, maybe three fifty four bucks depending. So I was happy with that. And this. I'm in the largest thing. Make about I want to say about um thirteen dollars on that probably. Um this and then the books. I probably made about like fifteen, sixteen bucks on them. I honestly don't remember. And the Star Wars hat. Honestly probably I made like twelve, thirteen 12 to like 13 maybe 14 dollars on it but you know these are some lower profit sales but honestly i'm not mad about it and you know to be safe on ebay is if ebay never asks you is if you don't sell like a really high-end item you know i mean yeah if you sell like for example if you sell like a one-off high-end item every now and then but it was for example you might be selling say you might say so normally 20 to, say you sell normally stuff that's say under say a hundred dollars. Like eBay doesn't mind if you say you sell stuff, so you sell stuff that's normally under a hundred dollars. But then you find like an item that's say a couple hundred, like say 200 or even say 10, say under 50 dollars. You normally sell stuff. Then you might find the high item on like that's a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Yeah, and you know, as you're sourcing, you know, for your eBay, you're obviously going to find, like, the, a bunch of lower names. And then you're going to find those high-end items as well. And eBay knows that, so they're not going to penalize you for having, like, high-end, high-end, selling high-end items, like, they're, like, four or five hundred. They just want you selling, say, like, the, like, eight, nine. They don't want you selling, like, the, they just don't want you selling, like, the three, four, five thousand dollar item that's, like, oh, really one-off for that, you know, like a one of a kind item that you'll never find anywhere else. You know, it's like one of one. Unless it's like one of one and it's like a, maybe say like a training card that's one of one that's, you know, even though there's other one of ones out there or something, but if it's like a one of one that you're never gonna find like an exact same one of, you know, it's like totally different. You know, it's maybe it's kind of similar to the other ones. It's like, you know, they, they don't want those ones and it's like really, really high end. They don't want you selling them. You know, sometimes they might ask you, but... Um, but for selling names, they're, like, safe between, like... Like... Ten, like... Like, anything, like, under, like, fifty, hundred dollars They're not gonna care. But as soon as you start selling, like, the really high-end items, then I'll ask. You know? Because that's how Daily Friday got to spend by selling, like, high-end and one-off, like, sneakers. And all the time, you know, getting like kind of weighed on to weight too. 
like the women batch is like say maybe let's say five, five or ten then let's say cook one once they also list a few more you know they didn't, he didn't do that though too so that's what two so but you know what i'm done but you know what this is what it is so i'm gonna sell um, a few more uh, i have a few more names let's so on ebay for tonight i have a few um um, what is it, um, um, a few, um, fishing items, a lot of two fishing items, and then I have a common camp, and, uh, that has dent, and it's like rust and stuff, I think I can still get thirty four ninety nine plus shipping for it, in as is condition, you know, and, um, maybe I'll have to take an offer on it, but I think I can still get thirty four ninety nine plus shipping, and then I could get, um, I think I can get, um, uh, because I did sell my brain in the box for $9.99 plus shipping. And then I know I'm, and there's, I don't think we were talking about 273 and then 274. If I decided to do two stacks instead of one stack, which I'm not sure at this point. I'm not sure. I'm going to do two stacks or I'm going to do one stack. I'm not sure, but. Um, I'm gonna do that will be two seventy four for sure if I do one set. And I have a lot of three board games that are vintage. I'm not sure if they're complete. But if they're complete they're not like popular board games or nothing that we're putting off. They would take forever to sell you and they're just by itself so I'm a lot of all. And some like fifty maybe fourteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. If maybe if they're missing a piece also is it complete. Maybe uh, I'll try to get $14.99, for him. So I'm going to ask it. Just sell him, like, you know. And then I'm going to say, that will be two seventy five. And then I got a couple um, repair manuals. I totally forgot about the head. They're, like, well, not original. They're, like, someone made them. They're, like, rep repro reprint manuals. These are not the original manuals or something. Because they're misspelled manuals, but... You know, I'm gonna try something for like dirt cheap, maybe say 99 plus ship, free shipping or 99 plus shipping or something. Something like dirt cheap. The person I, I know had an eBay store and they used to sell, and they sold them in there before they, you know, they didn't want to do man, set up for management payment, so they just like quit. But they sold, I think they had them list for like kind of dirt cheap. So that's what it is, but I'll try something for like dirt cheap, get rid of them, flip them, flip a few bucks, make a few bucks. Flip them, call them good, call it good, you know. So, here's what it is. So, yeah, so, next thing, take care of it. And, um, yeah, so, now I'll make it to 277. And I have other items to list. Um, I'm not for sure on that. Um, there's not a garage show season quite yet around here um it isn't um i mean there is a few garage sales but it's been kind of chilly in, like 30s and like you no know, off and on rain snow mixes and stuff like that and maybe this weekend might be it might be better time for garage sales but if there are garage sales i'm definitely going to go to them and be about for ebay i'm definitely going to do some sourcing at garage sales um, I did do a little thrift store sourcing. That's where I got the weather radio, the couple of not beans, stuff that I can do some sourcing. I can definitely use some eBay sourcing, but um, you know, I just don't want to, you know, but it's like it is what it is. Also, and like if you live in a small town, you can have to, you know, and if you know what I mean, I can't really do a ton of sourcing, but. This is what it is, though. I mean, I'm gonna list those listings and then, you know, and then, you know, try to find all more sourcing. I did get a Shop Goodwill lot coming in. I did order something from Shop Goodwill. I don't usually do Shop Goodwill, but I might do some Shop Goodwill sourcing. You know, and pay, pay, like, pay a little more than what I normally pay, it, like, you know, for the inventory coming to me. If I do Shop Goodwill sourcing. Some shop goodwill sourcing, shop goodwill.com sourcing, but they promise some of that stuff is goes high because 
It used to be where you could get like stuff for like say ten dollars. So you get a Nintendo DS for say, but you have to pay the shipping. So you get FedEx shipping. So you get for say, say five dollars plus ten dollars shipping. Nine fifteen dollars and so for say, like forty to fifty. And make say about twenty about fifteen twenty dollars profit. Not anymore. Now you have to. Now you would be lucky to get say. That Nintendo three US say, see that Nintendo two US six so, or say ninety say, it's worth ninety nine ninety nine plus shipping on eBay say. And then it goes up to like you might have to pay like sixty bucks for turn it for but make about twenty dollar profit. It's like no way I'm not doing that. And like CDs, like they used to have CDs. I got still have CDs, but like dirt cheap. And I'm like, okay, I'll try some more CDs. No, nope. it's like the stuff's going high. But if I can like get the gem, but if I can, but some of the stuff I want to be able to pay like like a couple of buck, like a buck or two piece, and then just like and then you pay it like CDs. I want to pay it, say fifty cent a piece. I'm not say. Decent dollar piece, say if like C gets broken or like, really scratched, you have to sell it as is. As is, see. Yeah. Especially if like, C can have worth a ton of really junk C's. Like a broken scratch, really unsellable scratch. Consistent, like C. Right? Maybe. Maybe it might have to destroy it. You know, when you play so. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, I don't read it or so. Like, yeah, so it is what it is, though. But I'm gonna test, but you know what? I mean, I did buy some, but there is some more else coming up. Like, giant, big lot of stuff on the I'm buying, I'm interested in buying. So we'll see, you know. And you do get a thrift store, but if thrift store's a little high for pricing, so you know, and I did get a repair menu for my thrift store that I listed. So my thrift store is a little high in pricing, but it is what it is. But, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only problem is I have to get like, good deals on my thrift store. I'm gonna some. I'm not gonna buy some. Something for say five dollars. You know, it's like a repair manual. So yeah, for like cars that weren't really five, even five people. Like even if you're not like a super familiar with car person, I mean, you kind of know at least what the super popular cars are. I mean, yeah, sometimes you really might miss the curveball. I mean, you know, it's worth, say, like, 20 bucks. Since, like, like a really not popular car. You know, or something like that, but... Or, um, you know. Or, even if it's, like, a newer vehicle. If it's any, be- like, just chilling the premium or Hames. As long as they're, like, newer cars that are popular. Newer cars. Within, like, 90s. Or newer, or if they're like older manuals and they're like, I mean, like daily driver cars, like t- daily driver type vehicles. Maybe some daily driver type vehicles people might work on them. Or like popular, like older type of vehicles. You know, people buy them, but you might find that, you know, there's always an exception to all like stuff that, like, you know, never think you see brands or something, or stuff that you never think you'll see high, and then it ends up going high, so it's always exceptions, but. It is what it is also. I'm gonna do a little listing and then and sign off for the day. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do my shipping on those four things I sold today. I'm gonna do my shipping and then take on both of us and then maybe do it. If I know more, more. maybe do it some first time. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, so it's an exciting ticket.